hey beauties welcome back to my channel it's me again ruthie and in today's video i'll be showing you all how i made this braiding hair to step hair or wig if you love this video don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment below so beauties this is expression braiding hair i'll be using which i'm going to divide into four parts you can actually divide this hair into five parts because you don't want it to be too long you know so i actually cut mine into four parts because i was still going to use the extra or the leftover hairs i had so that was why i cut it into five and um, four but if you want to cut it into five it's fine because you don't want a long hair you know so this is the method of the braids or how i got the braids this is the method i used i have a more clear tutorial in my channel so you could just go watch it i'm going to be leaving the link in the description box below so you could get a better and clearer idea of what i did but this particular clip is going to be speed up so i can only do a very very brief explanation okay so you now i am just going to like place the hair down then divide it into four parts which i'm going to still put them into two parts and I'm just going to put it on the um, this line you're seeing right now so I'll be able to have my braids and I did you no know, use six hairs for all the braids so guys this is my regular mesh dome cap I'm going to be using for today's video and which as normal and usual I'm going to just pin them down so I'll be able to do whatever or play on the net safely so it doesn't like pull off and then i'm going to oh i actually did my hairline off of the camera so that's what you're seeing right now so this is one of the braids which is going to be in the middle because that's the style i'm going to be doing on today's video now apparently i have my style in my head but if you're not really familiar with like doing wigs or anything i would advise you like mark out the parts you're supposed to place your hair or your extra hair yeah you mark out the parts you're supposed to place your extra hair and so you not like lose track or you would know exactly your start point and your end point you know so you don't get lost in between or in the middle of the hair so that's for beginners but if you're actually a pro or you're in between like a pro and you're still learning because i am also still learning you could just just take your time in doing it you know you don't have to rush or you don't have to do so many things trust me all this hair you're seeing all these videos they are always like they always take more time than you see but just because we have to like make a video we have to speed things up but we have to take our time nobody is as fast as the clips we see online <laughs> but yeah that's it so guys i'm going to be doing this hairstyle and before i continue i am so sorry i am so sorry to have left you guys for a long time trust me i miss you all like crazy but i've just been caught up in so much or uh, so many moments and i am sorry i left you guys hanging no um, follow-up video no like hey what's up i'm back you know i'm just so sorry but i promise i wouldn't just go like that next time <laughs> but yeah it's just life you know i just had to do some other things but i am seriously sorry you guys should forgive me mm? thank you you know i love you all right i love you all from the bottom of my heart even the new subscribers or the whole old subscribers i love you guys
so guys this is what the hair is looking like with the pins and i'm going to actually be using the glue method of today's video you can actually use a sewing method you can use a glue method but like i always use a glue method because it's a personal wig i can actually go back to like sew it on my wig later on but yeah for this video it's going to be a gluing method so maybe if i want to do it for clients yeah i could use i would definitely use a sewing method because most clients wouldn't understand that you this is actually a glue if you don't take good care of it if you're not careful with it it's definitely gonna start popping up it's gonna start and um, getting up and down but when you do a sewing method it's gonna stay almost for life unless you like really really drag the hair but yeah i'm going to be doing a gluing method for myself because it's my own personal wig so guys before i continue please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't like share this video and leave a comment below ask me whatever question you want to ask me i promise i'll be here for you and if i don't know it i'll let you know i don't know it okay but i will try my best to answer whatever question you guys bring on okay So guys after gluing it down i'm going to just glue the front now so it doesn't like start popping up once i wear them on because obviously i wasn't taking off the pin while gluing so i'm going to go back like you're seeing me doing right now i'll go back to glue it so guys after i was done gluing everything i'm going to tack down the hair so that whenever i cut it it's going to stay you know because you know once you cut hair it's going to like unravel by itself and just unravel and like you know get spot and all that but once you sew it down like this you make sure you sew it down on also on the um mesh dumb cap okay don't just sew it down ordinary like that so once you sew it like this and you cut it it's not going to unravel to the end it's just going to definitely unravel but it's not going to unravel to the end now after i'm done with the first part of the hair or the first face of the hair i'm going to go in with my multi expression it's also an expression brand i bought this from um, um from aliexpress yeah not amazon i bought it from aliexpress and i used three packs so i divided that into three and then divided the hair itself into three you can actually unravel the hair to give you that deep coils you want like it's really a very nice hair trust me so i divided the hair into three and i braided them i crochet them rather i crochet them on the hair one by one and then when i got to the top i started crocheting them two by two i stay crocheting them in twos okay so i also went like an inch above the hair i braided to also crochet just like you're seeing right now to have that full look
after i'm done crocheting i went in by trimming i just wanted it to be equal you have to trim your work so it looks equal and not uneven okay so after i did the trimming i went in with the baby hair and that was it for the whole video i also show an installation part of this hair so guys please just a quick reminder if you haven't subscribed to my channel please please subscribe to my channel like the video share this video to help me grow my channel as well and hit the notification bell to get notified whenever i upload any videos so guys this is what the hair is looking like i love it already and i'm going to be installing it right now just to wear my cap and before the installation i already bleached some part like the inside as you're seeing i bleached inside but i didn't bleach the outside but later on i bleached the outside which at the end made it look very very like 100 percent natural and you'll be seeing that on this video okay so that's what i did and voila that's what i had <laughs> so guys if you enjoyed this video please again don't forget to subscribe like leave a comment below share this video and hit the notification bell to get notified whenever i upload any video i love you guys so much i'll be seeing you right back on my next video bye